Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are back on the Exiled Lands in map square H11 in the Frozen North, building the Frozen Prison. As usual, all the mods you use will be in the pinned comment below, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, of course, this is indeed a speed build. As usual, I'll be talking through my ideas and inspirations behind the build, along with the fairly substantial lore backing the design and the characters within it, and of course any difficulties I encountered throughout the building process. Firstly though, I have a blueprint for you guys. This is quite a large blueprint, though realistically, it's not too difficult of a design, and it's more than manageable to build yourself if you're using admin commands. However, seeing as I will be using black eyes throughout almost the entirety of the build, I wouldn't really recommend building this in vanilla survival, as the resource cost is very, very high. I haven't done too many roleplay focused builds lately, and today I wanted to build something that serves a purpose for a couple of characters, so that's exactly what this prison is for. Now there are plenty of spaces around the exiled lands where a perfectly good prison could be built, requiring much less hard work and resources than this prison up in the mountains of the frozen north, so why is it here? Well, this isn't your regular prison. This prison was constructed to contain something more than your regular thieves and murderers. This prison was constructed to contain the power of the Dark Flame, a man named Kalkalin. Actual facts around who Kalkalin is and where he came from are extremely hard to come across. The only solid fact is that he exists, and he has a very particular affinity for fire. Rumour in the southern taverns is that he crawled from the mouth of the volcano under the shadow of a lava dragon, sent from the depths of hell to scorch the land and drag the souls of the charred down to whatever infernal elder god lurks underneath the ground. The Nords of New Azagarth instead believe that Kalkalim was sent as an enemy of Emir, the poetic fire to his ice, and they believe that if he is not contained, Kalkalin will spread the volcano's fury across the lands, wiping out the exiled lands and leaving nothing but a heaving mess of magma behind. Legend says that Kalkalin is responsible for the corruption within the unnamed city, the desolation of the sanctuary ruins and giving ungodly life to the serpent men. However, is that actually true? It seems that nobody really knows. Very little is actually known about Kalkalin other than his dominion over the element of fire, and that he is near impossible to properly imprison. However, there is one man capable of imprisoning him, and that is Gellum. The Nords say he was a priest of Amir who died under the weight of a gargantuan avalanche, only to climb out of the snow a month later as something else entirely. They say that the spirit of Amir inhabits the body of Gellum, though there's no way to know for sure. Gellum does not hold the same dominion over ice that Kalkalin holds over fire, but he seems almost impervious to the biting cold of the frozen north, an environment that has slowed Kalkalin's progress down to the southern lands due to his vulnerability to below freezing temperatures. After his resurrection, it seems that Gellum's sole purpose was set in stone. He forged a giant greatsword out of ice and set about building a prison. For years, Gellum spent every waking moment laying foundations, building up a dark prison on the most inhospitable peaks of the frozen north, until it was finally complete. This prison now serves as the home of Kalkalin, but not of his own free will. He now spends his days locked in the bitter tower, constantly being blasted by the cold of the frost beacons that sit at the heart of the tower. Alongside the beacons is an arctic incantation, maintained by Gellum's frost mages, reanimated from the frozen corpses of long dead adventurers. Under the weight of those conditions and incantations, Kalkalin is unable to harness his full power and break free of the prison. However, it isn't always the perfect solution. Word of Kalkalin's power has spread far and wide, and those wishing to join the side of the Dark Flame have attempted, quite unsuccessfully, to release him from his prison. Some of these fanatics have been imprisoned by Gellum within the frozen prison itself, sentenced to a life within the cold walls. However, the prison doesn't have room for them all, so many of their bones lie beneath the nearby snow. So, in terms of the actual construction of this build, it was really quite simple. I expected to encounter stability issues given the size of the build, however, I fortunately did not. I chose to build the structure with black ice to contrast nicely against the environment, 
along with using the snow-covered Barsonian roof pieces from the Northern Timber mod, which helps to nicely immerse the build with snow-covered rooftops. Alongside the Black Ice and Barsonian, I'll also be using Frontier wood accents inside some of the cells, and iron bars for windows in the cells too, to better fit the prison theme. Decoration wasn't too difficult. This prison isn't meant to be a humane housing for thieves and fraudsters, it primarily serves as the prison for an extremely dangerous fire mage. Therefore, there are no communal kitchens, yard areas, etc. Instead, there is simply a long hall with cells, and of course, the bitter tower. The prison will be lit with regular torches and braziers for a warm lighting until you reach the foot of the tower, where the lighting will transition to witch fire and frost flame braziers and torches to reinforce the cold environment of that tower. The decoration within the fanatic cell will depend on how long they've been there and their home culture, so you can expect to see some Kitan or Stygian residents. You can also expect to see some unruly prisoners with very little inside their cell, aside from a bed and a chamber pot. So I think that about covers all I have to say for this section of the build. As usual, I'll be letting the rest of the construction phase run, at which point we'll walk through the finished build together. If you'd like to skip to that point, do feel free to scrub ahead to the next chapter on the play bar below. So, with that being said, enjoy the rest of the build, and I will see you in the furnishing phase.
finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the prison, I've added risers to the roof and buttresses around the build to help to accentuate the shape a little better, and I've placed some statues to Emir outside the prison. Entering the prison, the lowered section contains two cells, both of which hold quite long-standing prisoners. These two men, one Kitan and one Stygian, have both spent a couple of years in the prison now and are generally fairly well behaved, thus Gellum has allowed them a little more comfort and luxury within their cells. Heading upstairs we reach the next level up, which contains four cells. The cell on the left contains a Nordheimer man that chose to try to free the Dark Flame, but has now returned to his faith in Emir, and is proving to be generally quite unproblematic. However, the Sumerian prisoner on the right side has proved a bit more troublesome. Gellum spends a fair amount of time talking to this prisoner, exerting some of his cognitive powers to help to turn the man away from the Dark Flame. At the back of this floor are two smaller cells, containing fanatics that have only been there a few months. Given their short stay and generally aggressive nature due to their obsession with Calcullen, these prisoners are kept the closest to the Biting Tower and are not permitted much luxury by Gellum. Entering the Biting Tower, you can see the frozen beacons at the core of the tower that play a major part in subduing Kalkalin's power, and the tower itself gives off a very dark, hostile atmosphere. At the top of the tower, of course, lies Calcullin's cell. Presided over by Gellum's undead frost mages, Calcullin is still conscious and standing, but his mastery over fire is heavily subdued by the cold and the magical incantations cast by the mages. Many fanatics have failed to free him from his cell, but maybe one day Calcullin may be able to escape his cell of frozen torment. And there we have it, the frozen prison in the frozen north in Map Square H11. 
Thanks for watching. If you've watched some of my previous character based builds, then you'll know I usually try and write characters that are very much morally grey and often have quite detailed backstories. So I wanted to try something different with Cal Cullen and Gellum, with the former acting as a mysterious force of evil and the latter acting as the opposite. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, you'll find all the links to my Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Patreon, and NordVPN discounts in the description below, along with credit for the music used in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I put out at least two videos a week, so there's always plenty of content to come. If you have any suggestions for future builds, I would love to hear them in the comments below. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sir Dialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Torn, Eagle Rose, and Meryl224. Again, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.